we'll discuss bull and famed longtime investor Ron Barron's thoughts on Tesla share. What is the next for the colossal electric vehicle manufacturer? Now, let's get this party started. But first, if this is your first time here at the Smart Stocks Academy channel, please accept my warmest greetings. Hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell next to it to be the first to know when a new video is produced. So if you're ready, let's get to the video. Ron Barron discusses several critical components of Tesla's business and why the stock is worth investing in for the long term. He also discussed what he believes are the main short-term dangers that Musk's business is now facing. Barron Capital Barron's eponymous investment business is one of Tesla's largest long-term stockholders. On a cost-of-ownership basis, the company currently owns about 6 million Tesla shares, or $42.88 apiece. Barron Capital, according to the investor, has made its clients roughly $54 billion in profits, with about $6 billion of that coming from the firm's $380 million investment in Tesla shares years ago. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, is praised by Ron Barron. Barron lavished praise on Musk in a recent interview. Well, it is quite difficult to achieve what he has. And then you read about how he treats people the social progress is bringing about for humanity, and it's then even more difficult. If it weren't for Elon Musk, electric automobiles would not exist. In fact, if it weren't for Elon Musk, you probably wouldn't be as interested in space as you are now. This man is devoted to ensuring the planet and humanity's survival. So far, Elon Musk has done a lot for people and the environment. We can see why Ron Barron is so enthusiastic about the EV maker. But there is something more that we learned from Barron's recent interview. When asked what he thinks is the biggest danger Elon Musk and his companies face right now, the famed investor said, it is Musk's health. According to Barron, is Tesla and SpaceX most important short-term risk, simply because the CEO works incredibly hard. This was logical given Musk's objectives. But his health may be a problem that could harm Tesla and SpaceX if it were to suffer a setback. Elon Musk deprives himself of sleep, despite the fact that he is currently healthy. He sleeps for roughly 6 hours each day and works for about 20 hours every day. What he is doing is incredible, and that is the risk in the near run. Earlier this year, Barron predicted that Tesla stock will hit $2,000 per share in 10 years and be around $1,500 by 2024. Barron does profit from his Tesla investment on occasion, such as when he sold 1.8 million shares earlier this year, which he described as painful but necessary for risk reduction. Tesla stock has come a long way since its inception in May 2010, and many investors believe in Elon Musk, the company's CEO. Ron Barron is only a legendary investor expressing what many investors are thinking. But the risks involved extend beyond Musk's health. The price of a share is largely determined by investors' perceptions of the issuing firm. Expectations for the company's outcomes are one of the most critical aspects that will influence the stock price. The stock exchange demand for Tesla shares is determined by analysts' forecasts of the company's earnings or loss. The assets that a firm holds might also help it boost its market worth. Consider a patent a real estate portfolio, a sales exclusivity, and invention, all of which play a significant role in a company's success. So when it comes to risk variables, there is a lot to consider. The level and predicted evolution of interest rates has an impact on stock market expectations and pricing. After all, with low interest rates, investors will be more willing to take more risks in order to earn higher returns making it easier for them to make their way to the stock exchange. The industry in which a corporation operates is another aspect that can affect its price. A healthy company in a troubled sector will be harmed by the market's perception of that sector. We are talking about financial ideals that have become far less trustworthy after the 2008 financial catastrophe. The value of Tesla stock on the stock exchange may also rise or fall as a result of the sector's radical transformation. 
the debut of a new product, or the adoption of new habits by consumers is another variable that can influence the value of a stock. Consolidation of a sector is another fantastic opportunity. A company that buys other companies in the same industry can establish itself as a market leader and take control of the market. Tesla, for example, is the current leader in the electric vehicle manufacturing business. It is unclear whether this will continue to be the case in the coming years in a market where many other manufacturers are aggressively creating their own electric vehicles. One thing is certain, electric vehicles are the way of the future and a rapidly rising section of the automobile market. The general evolution of the markets can boost or decrease the value of a security in a broader perspective. Even healthy and promising values were drawn into a downward cycle in gloomy markets, as we saw during the financial crisis of 2008 and 2011, when there was basically nothing wrong with them. During euphoria, the entire market participates in the upward trend without being economically justifiable. Due to favorable or worrisome macroeconomic fundamental happenings, big economic and political movements can also generate panic or calm on the stock market, sweeping an entire market up or down. Investors are more likely to be reassured or worried by a country's fiscal, budgetary, and especially monetary policies. Take a look at the recent Chinese stock market performance. With the government's myriad rules, tech companies are expected to be the most impacted. However, it is doubtful that the Chinese government would want to harm its domestic electric vehicle manufacturers. As with the Tesla stock prediction, consumer habits can have an influence in the probable evolution of a stock price. Some opportunities are only available once in a while. Certain sectors that have had to undergo reorganization may be able to break out of a cycle of slower development as a result of increased consolidation. Other opportunities are structural in nature. This is the case, for example, with educational businesses. There is a structural need to strengthen the educational system as rising countries move from a largely agricultural culture to an industrial and service one. On the stock exchange, there may then be a considerable demand for these companies. Some businesses are also more sensitive to currency fluctuations than others. The impact of currency fluctuations on a firm's turnover, profitability, and stock market price will be felt by a company that generates a major portion of its revenues from exports. As can be seen, the stock market price is influenced by internal characteristics such as balance sheet structure, profitability, earnings forecast, share of turnover and exports, innovation capability, market position relative to competitors, and assets. External factors such as the political and economical circumstances as well as the evolution and perception of the sector in which the company operates will all influence its evolution. All of these concerns must be tackled and assessed appropriately by the investor, but Tesla appears to have avoided the majority of them. That could be why Ron Barron believes Elon Musk's health is the only short-term risk. While the global economy was hit hard by COVID-19, Tesla announced a remarkable 71% growth in vehicle production in the fourth quarter compared to the same quarter previous year. Most people felt Tesla's goal of making 500,000 vehicles by 2020 was practically difficult to achieve. But the California automaker came close by producing 499,647 vehicles by the deadline. The stock also hit an all-time high on November 4, 2021 when it closed at $1,229.91, and the corporation is doing everything it can to keep its stock price rising. Tesla, for example, intends to grow aggressively, increasing deliveries by more than 50% each year over a multi-year period. By the end of 2021 or the beginning of 2022, production facilities in Berlin and Texas are planned to open, boosting near-term growth. There's also a lot to look forward to with this electric vehicle manufacturer. And with that, today's video comes to an end. If you haven't already, hit the like button below to show your love and support for this video. Also, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell next to it to be the first to know when a new video is posted. Thank you for stopping by to watch and we hope you had a great time. We hope to see you again soon.